uh, hi guys i have a very happy morning to you why i called you was uh, when you i saw you walking in uh, happy morning is not coming naturally okay you are looking at me and you are looking at me and you are saying this guy expects me to say happy morning let me tell him happy morning okay it's not naturally coming to you and as soon as uh, you are looking at somebody else happiness is never coming to you at all good morning is automatically coming to you now if something has to happen deep inside okay that needs a strong facts otherwise it won't naturally come for that is today's class why are we practicing happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night today's class is all about why are we practicing this let me ask you a very very simple question and let me also ask you a very ultimate question of your life what is your ultimate goal of your life all of us are asking this question what is your ultimate goal of your life anybody everybody you should have a goal in your life every time you came on the dais and you told your goal i want to be a lawyer i want to be an engineer i want to be a scientist i want to be a social worker i want to make up the best in my career all this is your goal but when you ask why this goal is because you feel like this goal can keep you something ultimately our goal is to be happy why do we as kids are pushed to the school by the parents is they know that when you go to school you will always have a better career which can keep you happy so they push you to school after school they push you to the best college again anticipating that's going to give you a best education which will help you in getting into a best job and you are going to live happily so ultimately the goal of all goals is happiness all of us know this we go for the highest paid salary job because we anticipate when i earn more i can live more happily so ultimate goal is again happiness there okay i marry the best of the best spouse because you anticipate that's going to give you ultimate happiness and that is the only reason you get into a marriage alliance okay you get into a job you get into a business you get into an activity ultimately looking for happiness when we ask this question are you happy in the present no in the present we are not at all thinking about happiness in the present what are we thinking we are cribbing about the past where we have not lived an happy life and we are anticipating that in future a day will come when i am going to be happy every time we have never lived in this particular moment right now i have an opportunity i can be happy will you be happy no i think when i get this i'll be happy when i get into high school i'll be happy when i get into college i'll be happy when i get into a job i'll be happy when i get into a marriage alliance i'll be happy when i have a kid i'll be happy when i become a grandparent i'll be happy ultimately you are not living in the present always you are cribbing about the past where you are not happy and you are anticipating that happiness is going to come in future no that's not how the life has to be like life has to be lived in this moment right now i have an opportunity to live this minute this second can i live happily it's a choice that you will have to make when you make this choice you will see your journey will be filled with happiness when you look back at your past you have never lived happily because every moment of your life you were cribbing about the past you did not live happily and you are always anticipating a day would come ahead where i can live happily let us see our journey we were born we were very happy at home we thought there is more happiness in going to school because you saw your elder brother or elder sister always going to school you always cried i want to go to school and your mind was saying i'm not happy here maybe when i go to school i'll be very happy and you were sent to school few people cried on the first day it was not because you came to the school you cried because the mom who was there with you she had to detach herself from you and she had to go back that is the reason you cried otherwise you never cried you wanted to go to school when you saw your elder brother going to school and you came to school and after few days you started realizing there is no happiness here i was more happy at home and what is your anticipation maybe when i go to first standard onwards i'll be more happy because it's a new campus 
and the first standard comes are you happy no again the same question mark is hanging on you what happiness is this in lkg i was so happier and at home i was much much more happier maybe when i go to high school i'll be more happier i will have actually a free hand to do whatever i want and you come to high school first day second day third day and you start asking yourself what happiness is this this is more misery i was so happy in my primary i was so happy at home there is no happiness here maybe when i go to 11th and 12th that is the college entry i'll be very happy because i'll be free to do whatever i want i can wear whatever clothes i want so funny i need not attend class from morning till evening it is only 3 or 4 hours anticipating all this what you do you walk into the college environment and when you get into the college first day and second day afterwards you realize there is no happiness there and you start asking yourself what happiness is this i was so happy in high school i was so happy in primary i was much much more happier during the childhood and right now i am actually more miserable what is this and slowly you start thinking no 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 nothing to worry when i go to degree i'll be much much more happier anticipating that in degree you will have much much more free time you can free out you can bunk classes you can do whatever you want you can have as many gf or bf you want and looking at all these aspects you think degree is the best thing that can happen to you and you get into a degree college and when you come into your degree college one day two day three day then the same faces you are seeing every day and you say what is this What happiness is this? I was so happy in plus one and plus two. I was much much more happier in high school. Still more happier in primary and in nursery. I could freak out. And at home, nobody asked me did I wear clothes as a kid. Now what all complications I have? And you are thinking, are you what happiness is this? And you are expecting no need to worry. When I get into my first job, happiness will pour. and you search for a job first job getting is a difficult task there will be a lot of turbulence you break open all those turbulence and you land into a job and you think mera life settle ho gaya my abhi khushi ka banda hu and then you go to office you come back you go to office and there you will have to handle so many egoistic people and for the first time you realize i am out of this place what happiness is this Yes at the end of a month a big salary is coming but it's a miserable day every day i'm in tension oh boss kya bolega ye colleague kya bolega i'm so much confused this is hell and you start thinking so nice it was college days much much more beautiful was high school days much much more beautiful was when i was at home and you start thinking horrible life is this and slowly somebody says get married everything will be blissful your hormones are also calling for it and slowly what you decide i think and you go to your mom mom and when you say mom you have to put this you go up to your mom and you say mom what mom what moms will know even before you can ask because they are moms you cannot anticipate first time you take a cigar you may think my mom does not know your mom already knows first time you do anything wrong you go home hey what happened what happened at 2 o'clock i could feel something mama na na nothing happened but mom knows everything you are a pixel from her how can you actually avoid her it's highly impossible so when i am talking about this mom you go up to her and say mama you were saying na you get ready if you are ready let us know let us know i am ready what you are ready mom is trying to pull your leg i am ready what you are ready mama you are asking me na get married i am ready now okay they arrange the marriage because what you have seen in maine pyar kiya Uh, no ask any of the married ones they will tell you how miserable is actually a family life good example could be your own mom and dad you go to them okay you go up to your mom you take a right hand put it on your head and you ask her to make a promise mama promise me what mama promise me whatever you are going to say for the next 5 minutes will be true nothing but true she says okay i promise you 
and you ask the question in a different manner. Uh, um, Mama, after your engagement or once uh, you decided or your family decided he is the boy, that means my papa is the boy, how was your feelings, Mama, from the day it was decided to the engagement to the marriage? After marriage, you give only three months. That's more than enough. They will say, hey, it was such a beautiful experience, Mama. You should also experience that. And he was always angel. Give them this dialogue because they can easily compare. He was always angel. Ah, he was always angel. Mama, one more truth. I am asking you, after the three months of marriage, till now, was he always angel or sometime was Papa Devil also? You should make the statement clear because they should not have any confusion. She will think twice and you will say, promise me you are not going to tell the devil. For the first time, she addressed him as a devil. For you, it is a shock of your life. Mama, you addressed him as a devil. Yes. He's more of a devil now. Only engagement and after marriage, for the first three months, he was an angel. Now, he's the biggest devil, ma. This angel is handling that devil. And you get a shock of your life and you were thinking, happy marriage, blissful marriage, everything. Chinu, chinu, putu, putu. No! <laughs> Hell and heaven, package me, combo offer it was going to be for you. And you decide, okay. And you go to your papa. You take your papa's right hand also. Ask him to put it on your head and you say, Papa, promise on me that whatever you are going to say shall be the truth. Never anything else other than the truth. He will agree, yes. How was your crush with mom? You will have to bring it softly like that. Hey, she is beautiful. Now also I love her. Okay, beautiful. Uh, Papa, I just wanted to know, from the time it was decided you are going to marry mom and engagement, and after engagement, the marriage, after marriage, you give four to five months. For boys, four to five months is important. Six months, you can say. How was mom? Angel only, no? Beautiful angel. Ha. Ah, she is always a beautiful angel. Then, Papa, what? Papa, it was after that six months, till now, it was always that mom was angel or sometimes she was also devil? You put this question and you should see the reaction in him. His mind will come in his face. <laughs> For the first time, Beti mere saath hai, mera beta mere saath hai. And he will say, Ma, you asked this question. I wanted somebody to ask this question. I want to vent out my anger. She was never an angel after six months. I had to see how did I get locked to this devil and she is always a devil ma. And this boy thought marriage is a blissful but still whatever you say before you get married you will never understand. That's the reason we say a person fell in love we say. Madhve is a allke bidda, allke bidlu. That is what is the statement we make and people don't realize it. They think it is always going to blissful. Some of them, it need not be three months. Two, three days, it becomes hell for them. They need to manage it. It's not going to be so easy. So what he thought, marriage is going to be full of happiness. And he told, and uh, your mother also spoke to your uh, uh, father. And they organized a marriage. And the engagement was done. You were very happy. You are seeing the beautiful things of your girl. And you like so uh, much. Because... From far, you are only seeing the positive side of that person. And after marriage, one month happens, two months happen, three months happen, then you realize, what the hell am I? I was so nice, happy as a bachelor. I was much, much more happier in uh, office. I was much, much more happier in my college days. I was still more happier in my primary. I was very happy when I was with my mom. And here, what kind of a blunder I have made? Can I do control Z? Most of the married people will ask. I say, kuch option hai, control Z karke mai undo karo. No, control Z will not work in life. And then you realize what to do. And slowly, it is a feeling of both. I'm not saying he is right. I'm not saying she is right. It's a feeling of both. And they start thinking, I think a child, when it comes, will be very happy. They also will never live in an happiest moment. They will be anticipating. Agar ek beta, ek beti, ghar mein ek bachcha aane se, ghar actually swarg ban jata hai. No. Ghar mein jab chota chota bachcha aata hai na, ghar narak ban jata hai. I'll tell you why. 
जब छोटा छोटा नन्ना नन्ना बच्चा नेबरिंग हाउस में है आफ्टर इज बात गिवन इन बात को टचिंग किडलिंग किसिम एंड कम दिन इन मन ने चिन्नो यू से से दैट एंड यू कम बैक व्हेन यू डू दैट इट्स नाइस बट इन द होम इज द बॉस यू वुड हैव केप्ट योर हाउस सो नीट दैट यू नेवर अलाउड पीपल टू डू एनीथिंग हॉरिबल the paper has to go to the right place the sofa has to be in the right place water in the right place uh, toilet room was meant only for toilet and this man comes that small little boss comes and he uses every place as his toilet he uses everything as his food for him there is no difference between idli or a paper paper also he will swallow idli also he will swallow and mobile also he will swallow give him coins he will swallow he does how to actually manage kids when they are kids we love it we eat it it's a different kind of an experience combo offer you cannot handle it and you say ye kya hai satan hai and you say agar ye bada ho jayega to hame actually sukoon milega and as he starts growing no sukoon then you think ye school jaane lag jayega to sukoon milega wo school jaane lagega but you will have more pressure of handling him and you start assuming maybe when he goes to college we will be still more blissful and he's been pushed to the college and you think it is blissful it is more headache and then you also start realizing maybe if he gets a job we will be relaxed and you put him into the job and after that you start realizing there is no happiness maybe if i get him married you will be happy you were happy when he was not married because there was no bahu one more devil <laughs> and you get him married a bahu will come and there is again to to my my and as a parent you will be thinking how to manage this and then you finally realize ye pota aane se sab kuch theek ho jayega and pota ya poti will come again the same old story i'm not actually contradicting all this all these are important in life but what i am telling you is you are always scribbling about the past where you did not live happily you are always anticipating in future i am going to actually live happily that is not how the life has to be lived life has to be lived in this moment right now i am living in this moment can i live happily right now i am doing this job can i do it happily right now i am attending this class can i attend it happily how can people know you can attend it happily when you come on on time when you do things on time when you do things with a smile when you do things with a glow in your face that means you are happily doing live your life happily because you know the goal of all goals is happiness so we are a few set of people who have decided that happiness cannot be bought it has to be experienced from within so what we do we don't believe in ordinarily greeting people good morning good afternoon good evening good night we want to actually wish happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night let me share a beautiful story because the way we have understood happiness is quite different here was a man who told i will give up everything in life i will only focus on one thing 3 crores of bank balance and the day i make the 3 crore of bank balance after that i'm going to enjoy my life only then happiness is going to enter me till then i'm going to work and work and work and work nothing else until i make 3 crores bank balance he starts working intelligent smart works 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 is 25 years works 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 is 35 years he made 3 crores as he was working as a kid your body is accustomed to self actually handle itself so it automatically starts handling itself but after some time over what happens your body needs to regularly exercise if it does not regularly exercise that healthiness will not automatically come so what we do we say if you need to maintain this body for a long journey from 0 years to actually in the 90 years that will only happen when you actually maintain it properly by eating the right kind of food by exercising the right kind of exercises by breathing rightly when all these activities are done in a systematic manner only then your body is going to remain right and body needs to experience more and more of happiness if body does not experience more and more of happiness what happens the body loses out its immune system and body becomes weaker and weaker and weaker that's the reason we say an happy body 
can always be called as an energetic body. That healthy body is required. You get into depression, there is a lot of sorrow in your family. You look at people in the family, they will be feeling lethargic, they will be feeling lazy, they will be feeling lousy, they will actually be experiencing all the worst things in their life. Why? They are not maintaining their body healthy. So here, this man who was anticipating happiness to happen in the future, what was he actually aiming at? He gave up everything. He gave up exercising, he gave up entertainment, he gave up everything. And his only focus was actually the target of making 3 crores. Initially, he was like a chapati slim and he was able to manage and see himself in one, actually a narrow mirror. Slowly, after some days, the mirror told, I can't show you completely because he had become a puri. Still he did not manage, he told let the three crores come, later on I will exercise. And then slowly he became a batora and then the mirror told master, master, you are not a chapati anymore, you are neither a puri anymore, you have become a batora. So please handle yourself or else health is not going to come back, there is no control Z there. And then he still did not, he was aiming at 3 crores because it was already 2.5 crores. He was still working, working, working. And that day when the salary got credited, the bank account balance showed 3 crores. He was for the first time felt happy. From tomorrow, life was going to be something else. And he went to sleep. Deep in his sleep, he felt like somebody is knocking him. Somebody is not. Excuse me. He opens his eyes and there is Yamadharma. Yamadharma says, Your time has come. Will you please come? Let us go. And he is getting a shock of his life. He says, Just yesterday I have made 3 crores of rupees and from today my happiness is going to start. And what is this you are asking me to come? Is it a dream? He pinches everywhere and he realizes it is no more a dream. Kumbhakarna has come, not Kumbhakarna, Amadharma has come and he says, your time has come, let us go. And he says, no, I am not going to come. No, your time has come, let us go. If you come, still I will take you. If you don't come, still I shall take you. Statement was very clear. And he told, no, 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 give me one year. No, nothing doing, your time has come, please come. And then he started realizing what's happening. Three crores is there and he has done the three crores. Now he's leaving the three crores and going. Most of you in anticipating that that thing when I actually get from there onwards my happiness will start. You will get such moment in your life where you achieve that and you are no more. What happiness it is? Then he realizes, no, I'll give you two crores. You give me six months. He's bargaining. With whom? Yamadharma. And he says, nothing doing. If you come, I'll take you. If you don't come, still I shall take you. Simple. And he says, no, no, I'll give you all three crores. Give me one week. He says, nothing doing. Your time has come. Please come. If you come, I will take you. If you don't come also, I shall take you. Now he's totally confused. He says, give me just one minute. He says, dear, ciao. He comes to the bathroom. He p -p -p picks up a, a marker pen and he just writes love in the present moment experience happiness every moment because the moment is gone you cannot get it back right now the first 10 minutes of what i spoke i did not get it back right now this moment can i get it back no you can never get back the moment time never stops for anything but you can be happy about i have lived my time so happily and you will be blissful. So we say, can you learn in the moment? Instead of cribbing about the past, anticipating that you will experience happiness in the future, can you right now live in this moment happily? That is what is expected out of you. And we are a great, miraculous human being. We can create happiness from inside. And we are also devilish because we can also create misery from inside. If somebody is not happy, it is not because of the external factor. If somebody is not happy, it is only because of the internal factor. Who is responsible for your unhappiness? You. We. Who is responsible for my happiness? Hi. Me. Oh, we'll go to the simple example. All of you have seen the Three Idiots movie? Yes. In the Three Idiots, there is one sequence where they will have to see the results. They look at the results, they know they cannot see from the top because their performance will be from the bottom. They see two of the names are there. When they see two of the names are there, they are very happy and they were anticipating that 
maybe he may pass, he may not pass, the third friend. And when they see he has not passed, it's a natural expression of unhappiness, sorrow. And as they are coming with a dull face, all the college students, of, uh, all the college friends, they ask, why are you so dull? You guys should be very happy. How can we be happy? My friend has not passed. Your friend has not passed. He's the top of the college. The moment they say top of the college, look at how we create that happiness inside. That happiness becomes miserable. You are praying to God, I don't want him to be. I don't want him to be. I don't want him to be. Your <coughs> mind is craving for that and when you finally see he has scored first, you cannot handle it. Look at the situation. Nothing of your score has changed. Anything changed? No. You were very happy seeing the result. Carry on with that happiness. You were little unhappy because your friend has not passed. Carry on with that emotions. It's good. It's angel emotions we can call it as. But when your friend has stood first, if you become miserable, that is devilish attitude. That is what we human beings are. I'll give you one more example. You will understand it still better. There was a time when Super Loto Lottery was a reality. Okay. So one day what happened? I, my father and my sister and my brother, we were at home and coffee was prepared. And as I was having a coffee, I read the newspaper headlines. It told a Bangalore boy has won 3 crores of rupees. It made me naturally feel happy. IPL if Bangalore wins, we feel happy. It's a natural happiness. I just read it aloud and my father was also happy. My mother was also happy. My sister was actually doing the puja. She was also happy. My brother was still sleeping. He was also happy. Then my mother told, hey, it's a wonderful day today. We have got a, the best news that a Bangalore boy has won three crores. She called my sister and he told, anyway, you are actually lighting the diya. Instead of using oil, use ghee. My sister went to the kitchen, she picked up ghee and she wanted to light it using a ghee lamp. My mom told, okay, can you continue, can you find out who exactly has got, even my father was curious, I started reading loudly. It read, a Bangalore boy from South Bangalore. We were very happy because we are also from South Bangalore and uh, my sister was happy, my brother was happy, my dad was happy, my mom was happy. I continued to read, it is from Wilson Garden. We felt still more happy. Oh, yo, it is from Wilson Garden. Nam area again ne bandi the. Yes, to three crores. We were very happy. My sister was happy. My mother was happy. My brother was happy. All happiness is in the peak. And as I continue to read, it says eleventh cross. We were still more happy because eleventh cross is our cross only. Happiness had no limits. It had crossed even the space. We were full of happiness. My sister was about to actually uh, light the lamp off. Not oil it was ghee. She was getting ready and as I read our door number is 17 bar 1 and it was read a boy residing in 17 bar 2 named Ramesh. As soon as I read this there was pin drop silence at the phone and my mother told oh Devre yalla bittu nam never ge barbe kitta nam makkali aarone mo kaan lelva oh god what is this you were not able to see my kids. Instead, they are more intelligent than them. What has intelligence got to do? That is what is our thinking. And sh immediately there was pin drop silence. And we were looking for happiness inside. There was no happiness. We had become miserable. We thought this day is gone for a toss. My mother shouted and she told me, <laughs> jalao, opas <aajau." laughs> she, she came out of the puja room. It's an illusion. Something like this did not happen. If you were one of the character, you also would have behaved in the same. Look at how beautiful is our system. It can become an angel by creating happiness when you find out that somebody is making good. And the same thing can get converted into jealousy. You will start feeling hatred. You will start feeling unhappy for the same reason when that has gone to somebody else. Ask yourself this question, why are you making your life so miserable when you have a choice of living happily? Why don't you feel more happy for the neighbor? Feel like it is your own son who has got this prize. But we cannot live like that because we have not system to live like that. So we are bringing a system that irrespective of in spite of whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. That should be the motive of your life. I get into a ticket counter for KGF 3 
I get the ticket, I don't get the ticket, my happiness is going to be constant. I get into the flight, expecting a beautiful girl to be sitting next to me. Even if a grandma is sitting, assume she is a bigger Mother Teresa, more beautiful than the other one, be happy. That is how your happiness has to be. You get into the bus, you get the seat, you will be happy. You don't get the seat, you will not be happy. You go to watch a result, you are expecting something. When it comes, whatever you expected, you will express happiness. When you do not get whatever you expected, you express sorrow. It's a natural phenomenon. But can you bring that back to a neutral attitude and say, irrespective in spite of whatever the result is, my happiness is going to be constant. I'll work better to better my results. That should be your aim. And we don't do that. See, I'll give you a beautiful story to illustrate how we can create happiness, how something which can be created is in your hand. It was a small encounter. All of you know Veerappan? Veerappan is one of the big decoyed who lived in southern India. He was a Tamil speaker and uh, he lived in the thick forest. His only job was smuggling. Smuggling forest important valued goods. It could be anything. Uh, when we actually speak about Pushpa, it is a kind of wood that they smuggled. The same thing was done in a different way by Veerappan. Veerappan is a decoy and he was very notorious. He doesn't talk Chumma. Hello, no, Dishim, Dishim. That is how he speaks. You understood the character now. It's a real character. Actually, Veerappan is no more. Assuming Veerappan was there and one day I saw him. I went up to Veerappan and I told him in Tamil uh, by taking somebody's help and I told him, What Veerappan? You don't have guts. You don't have the dil. He told him, Why are you telling you that? What kind of decoit are there? You come to my class. I'll give you a students. You collect one rupee from them. Then I will assume you are a big decoit. He told, What are you talking? You tell me a date and time, I will come. I will collect and I will be at you. I told, okay. And now I am calling them. I'm, I want to call Veerappan. Before that, what I will say, none of you should carry anything inside. No money should be carried inside. I will put a big electronic screening also and I will ask you to enter through the screening so that if you have kept somewhere, it should make some noise and tell me if you are carrying any money. None of you are carrying any money with you. You come and sit. Now I call the Veerappan. Oh, Veerappan, come. <laughs> Veerappan will come. He doesn't come alone. He comes with seven of them. All seven of you are sitting here and he comes and he says, because he wanted to say he doesn't know English, he calls one more and he starts saying, Veerappan does not know counting more than three. So the guns will be aimed between your eyebrows, that is on the forehead. He will count only three because he doesn't know more than three. After three we will shoot. So before we could complete that, pick up any money that you have, hand it over to you, me. That is what was the instruction given and the gun is kept right in front of you like that. All of you aim like this, as though you are holding a gun, aim it. Gun is kept here and Veerappan is counting. One, two, even if he goes three, four, five, can you give him something? No. Why? When you don't have that money, can you create it? Not possible. The first row will die. Veerappan looks very angrily. Next row, he calls. Next row, people are sitting. Again, the gun is kept. Even if he counts 1000, can you create a money and then give it out? No. But look at on the other side. Can you create happiness for yourself? Yes. Irrespective of, in spite of whatever the situation and whatever the position you are in, you can create happiness for you. That's the greatest gift God has given us. But are we actually living like that? No. We are always cribbing about the past, anticipating happiness is going to come in the future. That is not how life has to be lived. Life has to be lived. And remember, no materialistic needs is happiness. Who has confirmed this? The great three Patnis of Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara, they are also confirmed, including Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. You know Narad? Narayan, Narayan. Narad was walking like this and a scholar came from the opposite direction. The scholar stopped. Hey Narad, please stop. Narad stopped and he turned back and he told Narayan, Narayan, what do you want? He told, please consider me as a greatest scholar. I don't consider you as greatest scholar. 
Nara told, okay, I will consider you only greatest scholar. Continue. And he told, Nara and Nara and. Are you happy with that? No. He says, no, no, no. You cannot consider me as a greatest scholar. You should ask me a question and I should answer that question. And then you will call me a scholar and you should ask me the most difficult question. Narad was not having any problem. He told, okay, Narayan, Narayan. I just want you to see happiness and come. If you can see happiness and come, if you can tell me where happiness is, I am going to consider you as the most intelligent man on the earth. Is that okay? He told, okay. And he started thinking. Have I seen happiness? Have I seen happiness? And slowly he realized, oh, I am not seeing happiness. Anyway, I will take help of Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwar. I will ask them. He comes to the Brahma, the creator, and he says, is creation happiness? Brahma says, no, creation is not happiness. And he says, have you seen happiness? Uh, how is it? He says, no, no, even I have not seen happiness. Can you tell me where happiness is? Brahma says, that is for you to find out. I know what Narada has told you. Then he comes to Saraswati, because most of us think knowledge is happiness. You go up to Saraswati and you make a direct statement. Amma Saraswati is happiness it, what we call it as knowledge. Is knowledge happiness? She says, no. There are so many knowledgeable people who are living a miserable life. So I still quote and say, knowledge is not happiness. Then what is happiness? It is for you to find out. Have you seen happiness? No. Can you tell me where happiness is? That is for you to find out. And when the, when he told that he was confused. He thought, Brahma is always like that. It is Nigantu. And he says that he comes to what is called as Vishnu. And Vishnu is actually, uh, we say Vishnu is a uh, Swarupa of happiness and he comes up to him and says, Vishnu, are you happiness? No, I am not happiness. Then he looks at Lakshmi, definitely Lakshmi is happiness. He goes up to Lakshmi and he asks, Lakshmi, Amma, are you happiness? She says, no. Why do you say no? Have you seen so many rich people living a miserable life? Yes. Why? They don't know what happiness is. They are not able to actually look for happiness. With that answer, he is totally confused and he comes back to Shiva and he thinks Shakti. Most of you think no, Shakti is happiness. And he goes up to Shiva and says, who is a destroyer and right? destructive. Uh, then he says, are you happiness? He says, no, destruction is never an happiness. Is Shakti happiness? No, Shakti is also not happiness. He again asks the same question. Have you seen happiness? He says, no, we have not seen an happiness. But can you tell me where happiness is? That is for you to find out. With no answer, he comes back, anticipating he wanted an answer from Narad. He comes to the Narad and he says, Narad, Narad, I think you also don't know where happiness is. T -t tell me where happiness is. He says, happiness is within every one of us. You saw different moments? It comes out naturally. It is you who can create that happiness. Any particular situation, for few of them, it will create happiness. For the other few, it may create a misery. It is a small change of events, that's all. So if it is getting time, you can leave. So it is very, very important for you to understand that happiness is not something that you will have to look in the outside world because most of us are looking for happiness in the outside world. If I get a cycle, I'll be happy. Cycle is given. Were you happy? No. You are anticipating. If I get a bike, I'll still be happy. And the bike was given to you. Were you happy? No. You are anticipating a car. If I get a car, I'll be happy. And the car was given to you. After that, were you consistently happy? No. You started realizing, I want a luxury car. So, life is not materialistic. When I have this, I'll be happy. When that comes, you will definitely not be happy. You will ask for something else. He has said, whatever we say, na, it has no limits. <coughs> when something is granted onto you, you will ask for more. You will never be happy. When that is also granted to you, you will ask for more. You will never be happy. So we are a few set of people who have decided, happiness is something, right now I like to live in this moment, irrespective of whatever I have or I have not. So what we say, in spite of, irrespective of whatever I have or I, I have not, my happiness is going to be constant. So, what we do, instead of addressing as good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, we want to address it abundantly, like happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening, happy night. It makes a feel-good factor not only for us, even for the person who listens, try it. You go to your mom and say, happy morning mom. There is a change in our facial expression. And always remember, if human body is like an Akshaya Patra, we call it as a magical vessel or a magical genie. Whatever you give onto the outside world, more of it will pour onto you. If you spread happiness onto the outside world in abundance, more happiness from him will flow to you. 
if you give actually hatred to the outside world in abundance more hatred will flow if you give love to the outside world in abundance more love will flow so when we know that why don't we actually make a rule come what may my happiness is going to be constant and i'm always going to spread happiness we are the group who always use happiness in scarcity assuming i want to wish somebody personally happiness what do we do we wait for one birthday that comes once in a year make him come here ask him to stand and then you wish him wish you a very happy birthday we don't want to wish him by mistake if you have missed to wish him on the birthday day what you do you meet him next day and you say belated happy birthday that means go back to yesterday enjoy your birthday and come back to today instead you say be happy today the next day of happy birthday no our wish doesn't come like that we wait for few festivals to come and then you want to wish hindus are so many festivals so every day is a festival you can wish yes there are certain religion where the festivals are two or three you only wait for that festival to come happy eid happy new year happy christmas why let us have abundance look at the wordings only our wordings sometimes will become a curse on to us we wish this should happen that's a lot that because the universe is like a magical genie it always is asking you a question your wish is my command master what do you want i want to study well and score first it shall be fulfilled start working you shall come first but when you are continuing to work a time will come where you will say i think first rank i cannot come i can come fourth or fifth rank and then the genie will say your wish is my command master you shall come fourth or fifth because you have not studied after few days you again say i think the way i am studying if i get 60% that itself is great let me get 60% again the genie will say your wish is my command master you shall get 50 to 60% genie did not change your desire god did not change your desire you change your own desire because you felt you cannot he did not feel you cannot happiness is also like that you felt i am feeling miserable you will definitely feel miserable if you start feeling so nice weather there is a breeze from your there is a breeze from your such a beautiful climate you will start feeling it the moment you want to be miserable you can become miserable the moment you want to be happy you can become happy that is in you so what should i do can i spread happiness in abundance we don't want our languaging itself is horrible assuming today was saturday i took a very nice class and all of you like the class before leaving all of you make that beautiful statement on saturday evening or saturday afternoon what is that happy week yeah. end do you think it is a wish or a curse most of you think sir it's a beautiful wish na sir but i will say it's partly a wish and partly a big curse why do i say that yes saturday when you wish each other happy weekend you are so happy you go back home you go back home and you know it is saturday you feel or feeling so happy and you have your dinner like you have never had your dinner in your life man. so happy thinking tomorrow is sunday you don't go to bed only because you know happiness is so abundant that sleep is not coming on to you only you are watching all kinds of channels talking to all kinds of people gossiping and still your happiness is so high and you go to bed at your own free time and you get up early in the morning because it is sunday filled with happiness you have coffee on the bed you have coffee on the breakfast and then you get up you don't want to take bath because you are so so happy but still ultimately you take the bath and then you are waiting for that afternoon lunch to come because you know it is sunday you are so happy you have the lunch like you have never had just like you are an emperor and then after the lunch after one hour uh, something reminds you tomorrow is monday the moment you realize tomorrow is monday you feel like going to the calendar using some magical words and you want to tear that monday and put one more sunday saying sunday 1 sunday 2 sunday 3 kgf 1 kgf 2 kgf 3 bahubali 1 bahubali 2 bahubali 3 because it is there in your mind and you are thinking tomorrow is monday this horrible monday that monday blues i have to see the same teacher i have to see the same boss i have to work in the same company and that reaction will continue you go to bed and sleep is not coming because tomorrow is monday finally you get up and you are thinking today is monday today is monday today is monday that is what we call it as monday blues why 
that is what you wish each other what did you say happy weekend that means your happiness will stay till the week is coming to an end when it is very close to the end your life will become miserable change the way you wish people one more assuming i took a very nice class and i say guys enough of bangalore i'm going to go to delhi and settle all of you want to give me a send off at least you want to come to the airport and see me off so you come to that airport and when i'm about to go to the uh, uh, the departure the department where i will have to give the uh, luggage you look at me and say sir happy journey i am thinking look at these people journey me i will as well be very very happy why i am in going in an aeroplane which will not take even 20 minutes and there are such beautiful air hostesses who will always keep me happy because they are in a very supportive manner whatever i ask is given to me i am happy i am sitting luxuriously in the aeroplane that is where happiness is required for me happiness is required after i get down in the airport and live my entire life in delhi but look at your wish happy journey i will say instead wish me happy living in delhi sir enjoy your day in delhi sir happy every day in delhi sir no we don't want to do that we have this notion that happy journey let us change this so when you start looking for happiness and when you start alerting yourself in every moment can i live happily can i live happily can i live happily the message will strongly come on to you and you can always live very happily so what we do instead of wishing good morning good afternoon good evening good night we are a group of people who want to wish happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night all of you with me say happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night which action everybody happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night it's not only happiness man morning afternoon evening night we want happiness all the week so what should we do happy monday happy tuesday happy wednesday happy thursday happy friday happy saturday happy sunday it's not only week days we want to be happy yeah. all the days of the week night all the months also so what do we do happy january yeah. happy february yeah. happy yeah. march yeah. happy yeah. april yeah. happy yeah. may yeah. happy yeah. june yeah. happy yeah. july yeah. happy yeah. august yeah. happy september yeah. happy october yeah. happy november yeah. happy yeah. december yeah. it's not one season i need to be happy i want to be happy all the season happy summer happy yeah. winter yeah. happy yeah. rain yeah. happy yeah. spring and final conclusion irrespective of in spite of whatever the situation is my happiness is going to remain constant all of you repeat after me irrespective of irrespective of in spite of in spite of whatever the situation is whatever the situation is my happiness is going to be my happiness is going to be constant constant now i want all of you to do that okay now this will go towards you and all of you will do this and once you do perfectly i will stop till then we will continue till evening 9 o'clock ready steady go happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night she did not do so we'll repeat again happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night he is also putting his legs like this she is also doing we will do it again you also turn like this stand stand and we will do it again happy morning happy afternoon happy evening happy night she is not using her left hand you only ma'am lawyer amma okay so i'll repeat till evening 10 o'clock it's better you bring happiness right now choice is yours okay ready steady go happy afternoon happy evening happy night Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday, happy Saturday, happy Sunday, happy Jan, happy January, happy February, happy March, happy April, happy May, happy June, happy July, happy August, happy September, happy October, happy November, happy December, happy summer, happy winter, happy rain. She is not doing. We will do it again. Happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening, happy night. 
Happy Monday, Happy Tuesday, Happy Wednesday, Happy Thursday, Happy Friday, Happy Saturday, Happy Sunday, Happy January, Happy February, Happy March, Happy May, Happy April, Happy May. No, I did wrong. We'll do it again. Ready, steady, go. This is the last and final. We will complete it off. Ready, steady, go. Happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening, happy night. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday, happy Saturday, happy Sunday. Happy January, happy February, happy March, happy April, happy May, happy June, happy July, happy August, happy September, happy October, happy November, happy December, happy summer, happy winter, happy rain, happy spring. Irrespective of in spite of whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. Repeat. Irrespective of in spite of whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. Now you should do without me. Ready, steady, go. Happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening, happy night, happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday, happy Saturday, happy Sunday. Irrespective of in spite of whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. Repeat. Irrespective of, in spite of, whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. One more time, because most of your happiness is not coming from here. It is coming from kidney. Ear on kidney is there, na? It is coming from the kidney. Remember, ear kidney hai, ear heart hai. When you speak, it should come from the heart. It should not come from ear. Okay? Smile. Okay? Smile. Dil kol ke. Okay? Keep bliss and keep that intention that I really wish happiness to the outside world. I really wish happiness to me. That abundance is to be there. See, when we actually speak about happiness, it is a very easy attitude to develop. Even when you go to the peak of anger, you can at that instant you can convert yourself into happiness. I'll, I'll share one beautiful incident which happened with Mother Teresa. Why we say she is a abundance you she is a remarkable human being where happiness was abundance love was abundance see when she wanted to start missionaries of charity she wanted to start free hospitals in calcutta it was not an easy go wherever she went people gave her in abundance no she had to actually influence a lot of youngsters who came who joined her they used to go to streets like mg road uh, which is a uh, highest commercial street uh, in all the cities and there they used to collect funds they used to have the banner of uh, kids who, are, who need hospitalization and people used to go there and they used to ask for what is called as funds it was one such incident which happened I think after that uh, we will go back to you it is one such incident which happened uh, here was a businessman who was very rich he was stinkingly rich. But was he happy? No. He was a miserable man. His entire family shouted at him and told, What is the use of so much of money? He is so miserable. He had a meeting and something went wrong in the meeting. He became so angry. He threw the table in the meeting all and he was rushing out. And he just left the hotel without even giving back uh, the information what time he wanted to come back. He was in such a bad mood and as he was walking outside the hotel and he was just rushing on the footpath towards his car, a group of missionary volunteers go up to him. He is angrily walking and they stop him. Excuse me sir, he is angry, he is boiling. And he says, sir, can you help those poor people? They are showing a banner where there are a lot of kids who have leprosy and they need hospitalization. They show at it and say, can you please help us? He gets and he keeps walking. These people wanted to shout, they shouted in their mind. If you want you give, otherwise why do you call us you? And they mm -hmm. went off. As he was just approaching, after looking at these uh, younger ones who had asked for the funds, he goes up and all of a sudden 
there was Mother Teresa who was standing on the opposite side. She turns back. As soon as she turns back, this guy also goes here. He was looking back. He turns back, and Mother Teresa turns back. It is like both of them are encountering each other. With a smile in her face. Sorry, I blocked your way. Kids, uh, you seem to be a businessman. Can you help those poor kids? And she's having a white bomb. And she's putting it in front. Can you please help the poor? He is actually boiling in anger. He did not know what to do. Two, he actually spits onto the bomb. If you would have been there, you would have taken and you would have hit. What? At that instant, Without even waiting for a fraction of a second, with a smile in your face, she picks up an handkerchief which was in her pocket. She wipes it, closes it. I will keep this. Thank you for this. Can you please help the poor? This man was shattered. He was expecting something abusive will happen. And look at that lady. In that instant, she could have actually created an abusive environment there. Within no time, she diluted the entire incident, telling, this is okay for me, I will have it. But these poor people need some money. They need hospitals. Can you please help me? That businessman broke up. He sat there, he started crying, and he became one of the important personality who was responsible for missionaries of charity to spread across the world. This is one such take. There are a lot of such important people in life where they could have expressed their anger, they could have expressed their hatred, but instead they will express their love because they are always filled with happiness. It is not that they don't have pain. With that pain also, can you actually fill yourself with happiness? That is the message for today. So, thank you, love you all so much, wishing you most and more. I wish all of you to be very, very happy always. Keep yourself always happy. Happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening. And you should develop this automatically. It should not that when you see Malik sir only it should come. It should naturally come when you see your mother, when you see your father, when you see your principal. You should go up to your principal and also say, Sir, I have something to say. What? Happy morning to you, sir. He will be surprised. Ah, okay, happy morning. Sir. Because he is he, not able to handle that. It creates happiness. Go hug your mom and say, Mama, have a very happy day, Mama. Beautiful. Hug her, Mama. Have a very happy sleep, Mama. So happy morning, happy afternoon, happy evening, happy movies, happy lunch, happy dinner. The happiness has to be constant in every occasion. Sitting in a party, it has to be done happily. No, happiness. A song. Up the heart up, up the heart up, heart up, It will come. Sometimes रुकने के लिए भी और यो रुकता नहीं है loose motion है अभी तो अरे अरे रुक जा रुक 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 जा अरे अरे रुक जा रुक 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 जा नहीं रुक रहा है tablet लूँगा अब तो रुक गया ना मजा आया you should be able to enjoy both the ways नहीं आ रहा है I'll enjoy हार रहा है ज़्यादा I'll still enjoy so your life has to be like that. It has to be a balanced life, irrespective of, in spite of whatever the situation is. My happiness is going to be constant. You should always say that. One last time, all of us will do. It is still running. Okay, one last time. Everybody, I will also stand there. Irrespective of, in spite of whatever the situation is, my happiness is going to be constant. A big round of applause.